Okay, you live with kids, right? Who's running the place? You know, it can get a little bit chaotic out there. Well, our next guest is going to tell you how to fix that up by having some house rules, setting them and keeping them. We welcome parenting coach and author of Parenting with a Purpose, Diana Bosha. How are you? Good morning. I'm well. Welcome back. Thanks so much. Uh, my kids saw you on the show last time. They said, don't have her back. <laughs> She's nothing but trouble. Uh, I guess you need house rules, huh? I, I've been told <laughs> that. My daughter gave us some house rules, and we try to follow them without getting punished. And oh, uh, there you go. Or do the, do the parents set up the house rules? Well, who do you think? I'm, I'm <laughs> in my house. No, no, I think the parents. Who's asking the questions yeah. here anyway? <laughs> I'm a great interviewer. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> yes, you will. Here we go. <laughs> okay. So the parents are going to set the rules. Parents are going to set the rules. And actually, we all have rules in our houses. We all have specific expectations. Um, but if they're not clear, we tend to repeat and teach in the moment, like, how many times do I have to tell you? Why don't you pick up your shoes? Or why isn't the? And so uh, to eliminate all that nagging, when you have designated rules, you take pictures of your children doing those rules. And this is from the anywhere from the two and a half, three year old to 10 or 12 year old uh, range will go further up for the tweens and teens. But I do. This is a picture, for example, of a house. And I um, hope that you can see it. So uh, you would just post three to four rules at a time. These are extras down here. But for instance, this what rule. Age, what age are these kids you're posting rules for? This would be for the three two and a half to three year old and this would be a picture for instance of me and my daughter okay. so when you have the actual pictures of the children they become more invested in the rules so this is a picture of my daughter hanging her backpack up that's the rule that when you come in the house you hang your backpack up so you pick three concrete rules not abstract rules abstract might be we all need to be nice to each other so those abstract rules are reinforced in a different manner. Concrete rules are reinforced through pictures. This is a picture of, for instance, a child taking their dishes to the sink. So I have these three or four rules. Um, this is, if it's out, we share it. This rule would be uh, couches are for sitting not jumping and doing trampoline work on oh it. Oh boy, so, hmm. where's so, the fun exact, at your house? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, it just depends on what your rules want to be. So you would choose <clears throat> three or four different rules, take a picture of your child doing those, and then post them. And then after whatever it is, uh, six weeks to two months, once that rule is just part of the routine, then that rule can be removed and put on the back and saved for later in case it needs to be brought forward. But because it's a picture of your child, your child will become invested. Most children will say oh come here and look at uh, if it's out we share it or um, we're not allowed to jump on the couch or whatever and they'll share those rules with their um, friends sort of a visualization back yes, it what almost is, seems like you're training a uh, I don't want to say a pet but that uh, almost seems that way well it's repetition yeah. it's consistent and uh, you don't have to be the nagging parent you can just say uh, when you see dishes out or something, mm -hmm. house rules. And it's the rules of the house. Does this work among spouses too? Like, can I say to my wife, Did, don't you see the picture of me watching football <laughs> or something like that? Well, if that's your rule on Sunday, you okay. want a picture of you there or Saturday or any day, mm -hmm. then, you know, that's okay. your that's your time you out, of course. You put a picture of your wife in her car with the taillights. <laughs> 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 uh, on Sunday when you're this watching This is, football. this would be something for more tweens or teens. The rules here are, uh, this would be, I just put towels here, but a picture of towels go in the laundry basket not on the bathroom floor after your shower and you want to speak in positives about what happens here this is a picture of for instance my son which it's really not but a child with a soccer ball so sports equipment stays outside whatever you want this is sneakers you know sh take your stuff off your shoes off by the so door so the we kids go. older now we're talking about like eight or this nine is, this is an eight yeah this is a screen time happens after homework okay um, so, uh, and, and you know, when you get into teenagers, you can take a picture of your teen, for instance, with the car keys and a clock that says 11 o'clock, so that you can just text message a teenager uh, as a reminder. We have studio rules right now. Well, we have studio rules. That means we gotta go. <laughs> but you can get a 10% discount on your book, how? Uh, going to my website, which is parentwithapurpose.com, 10% off on the book price for a signed, endorsed copy. Okay, yep. I'm not, I'm not going to try texting that picture to my teenage son. He, he has something to say to me. I think. Oh, he was, man. Dad, what? <laughs> Who did you talk to today? Oh, Dad? yeah. Well, we got some good ideas there. Hey, New Day Cleveland continues right after this. Thank you very much. Thanks so much.